Here's a couple of really quick ways to adjust a dark image and make it lighter in post-production in Photoshop. So um, I'm going to show you this particular picture as well as uh, a couple of more pictures. So this one, um, I'm going to bless you. The easiest way, when you open the file up, simply you can go to File Open or right click on the actual image and when you get the options, you can choose for, uh, Open with Photoshop. Um, so the easiest way and the fastest way of kind of making a really fast color correction is duplicating your layer. So you want to make sure you're, yeah, you see your layer panel and this is basically shows your photograph and if you click on it you can choose duplicate layer or simply drag it into this icon next to the trash bin to duplicate that so now I'm gonna use my layer mode which is a function in Photoshop where it uses the that photographs light and dark and middle uh, gray values to make the adjustments in the light part and the darker part. So this would be my first line of approach. And if that doesn't work, then I'm going to move to a different technique. So I'm going to click here. And again, we have three settings um, that I'm going to simply drag and go over the settings. And here is my layer, right? And here's the duplicate. And you see, under the histogram, I have the normal. The, by default, it's set to normal. If you click it, there's an arrow right next to it. If you click it, you'll see a few different sections that pop up and populate the window. The first section is darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, darker color. If your image is too light, that's the setting you want to use first. If the image is too dark, you want to use the second setting, which is lighten, screen, color dodge, and so on. And we're not going to worry about the other settings till I get to it. So as soon as I go to the lighten doesn't do anything. But look what happened with the screen. You guys see it? It's a huge difference. And simply by just changing a simple setting, I managed to use the photographs its own value to make it lighter. It's much different than if you're using a curve or if you're using levels. I know many of you may be using those, which is they're fine too. But again, this is gonna this is a lot more effective way to kind of fix something really quickly without having to um, spend too much time. Um, if you sometimes when you do that, you may need to actually add contrast. Anytime you're going to make any type of a color correction on an image, the path is as follows. You go to image, adjustment, and these are the settings. You want to add brightness and contrast, level, curves. So this one, if you basically did this and it didn't work, you come here and go to image adjust and choose these other settings. It's always under image, adjustment, and the, whatever the drop down is. You can always add contrast a little bit if you wanted to. Um, uh, so, so this is one I'm gonna, so since I'm doing the video tutorial right now, I'm not gonna take your questions. Once I'm finished, I'll stop the video and I'll take your questions. So the next one is going to be when an image is too light. I'm going to open up this photograph and so based on what I said uh, we learned that the first thing that I need to do is duplicate this layer I'm gonna duplicate this layer either right click on it and say duplicate or just drag it to this little icon next to the trash can again the image is too light it's the opposite of the other one so I know based on what we just discussed that you need to choose the first set of colors which is darken multiply color burn or linear burn so multiply and color burn works the best um, so I'm gonna choose color burn and then you have a setting right next to the first layer where you chose the color burn where it shows you opacity 
I can really come down here and say, you know what, I like color burn, but not, not at 100%. I can come here and just drop it because it gives me a nice saturation. Now, if you guys look up for a minute, this is the original of the photograph. This is literally one layer with the setting that I use, and I just changed the opacity on it. So if the image is too light, you use the first set of options, darken, multiply, color burn. And if the image is too light, you use the second part. The key is you need to duplicate your layer first, and you make these adjustments on the top layer. Now, the second part of what you need to do for this assignment, I ask you to also uh, make a black and white version of your photograph. So I'm going to grab this other picture. Uh, so anything with a lot of pattern usually gives uh, is a good choice to make in a nice photograph. So the way you make a photograph in photo, a, a black and white photograph in Photoshop uh, should be done on a color photo. So I have my picture here. This time I'm going to choose my adjustment layer. So if you look from your layer panel from the bottom part of it, you see a trash can, you see the icon that looks like a layer duplication where we did it earlier before. I'm going to duplicate it right now. And there is another icon that looks like a circle that has a line going through it, which one side is white, one side is black. If you click it, these are called the adjustment layers. The adjustment layers allow you to make so any type of change that you want on your photograph, but then if it's not good enough or you need to change it, you can go back and make adjustments later on. So for this, for this particular photo, I want to make it black and white. So I'm going to choose black and white option on a color photograph. As soon as I do that, I get this version of this photo that looks really dull, right? It looks very dull. If you double click this icon here, um, the, the window, this window pops up. So we're going to go much deeper into color correcting with channels. This is like red channel, yellow channel, green channel, cyan channel, blue channel, magenta channel. We're going to go much deeper later on. However, for this exercise, first I want you to identify the colors that are on this in the photo. Well, the colors are green and some yellow and a little bit of a blue. Now, if I turn this on and if I come back to my color, you'll see that if I change the value of those channels, my image start to really respond to the photo, right? So, and so you want, I just want you to move these around to get to a point where you say, you know what, I like how this thing looks. So I'm going to, so this is kind of like this, and this is looking a little better. Um, the red is, you know, so when you move it, it kind of calculates whatever, see how this branch is red? And as soon as I move my red channel, it gets dark or light. So you want to just, again, identify the colors you want to manipulate and then move them accordingly. Um, so a lot of times with black and white, you need to do more than one thing. Um, so I think this looks a lot more interesting than the original one. So um, once you're ready, you basically would save this file. You do a save as, and you say uh, whatever image, image 02, whatever that is. And then from Photoshop, you would just change it to JPEG. And then you would name it like black and white. I think I've given you a naming convention for that. So you save it like that. And with maximum quality of 12. And so now I have my file here. I can do just keep it, do a save as, and keep the PSD file in case I need to go back. Like you come here, I say, hey, no, the image you need to make like A, B, C changes. You can open the Photoshop file up and do whatever change you need to make. The last bit that I've asked you to do, I ask you to do a mono, uh, a duotone. So like, for example, a sepia tone. Again, these are basically very introductory uh, um, techniques. 
at later dates, probably in the next level class, we're going to much dive much deeper into this type of color manipulation. But for the purpose of your exercise for next week, now I've asked you to give me a version of the same photo as a duotone or sepia tone. So the easiest way to do that, you want to do, again, anytime that you want to make a color change to an image, you go to image and you go to adjust. You make sure you're on your actual photograph. You click on the image, you go to image adjust. This time, I'm going to change the hue and saturation of my photograph, which means I'm going to make it like a do a tone or a blue tone or whatever value I like. So I'm going to choose hue saturation. This window pops up. From this panel, you see that I have a colorize option. I'm going to go ahead and click colorize option. And actually, I need to not do that. I'm sorry. I'm going to take one step back. You want to do it the same exact way. Click here. Uh, because if you do it through this drop-down menu, it's actually, you can go back and edit it. So it, it, it's, it's adjustable. That's why it's called layer adjustment. So the same exact way we did the black and white filter, click on that little circle um, from the drop-down menu and choose hue saturation. So the same window pops up, but now this one allows me to uh, kind of, I just click it and I'll just move this around. You, if you want it really saturated, which you don't want, you would ex move this higher, but I'm going to put it at a lower level. And then if you want it more like a bluey tone, you move it to more bluey tone, but sepia tone, you move it to the left. So you kind of figure out whatever it is that you prefer. I'm going to move it somewhere around here. And once again, I'm going to come back here and sort of go to the third section. Go to the, so remember, the first section, if it's, my image is too light, the second section, if the, my image is too dark, the third section, if you want to add contrast, if you want to make something appear so that it feels like it has density. So here I have my third section, overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, linear light. So these are too much. So I'm going to go back and probably just choose between hard light and soft light. Maybe the light is actually pretty good too. I'm going to choose overlay. So now I have my third picture that I've asked you to create. So I'm going to basically the third one was to give it, give me like a sepia tone or do a tone. So you go to file, save as, just give your image a name, image one, and uh, like sepia. And again, make it a JPEG. And now if I come back here, you'll see that if I turn these two layers off, this is my original image. And if you look, it's significantly a more interesting photograph because of just these three simple changes that I made using the layer modes and adjustment layers.